let's move on to the market, starting with the Nigeria market update. NSC All Share Index gaining 3.2% to close at 34,502.37. Now, some of the gainers seen at uh, Dangote Cement, uh, which uh, led a gain of 10%. We also have other gainers. We have uh, FBN holding 3.1%, uh, CA uh, Cap up 9.9%, Nestle Unilever up. Cadbury up as well. We saw losses in the likes of uh, Nigerian Breweries Total and GlaxoSmithKline. Now joining me to discuss uh, the market is, as I said, Efe Omodu Emuke. He's a fund manager at Stambik IBT Asset Management. Now, uh, Efe, let's focus on some of the uh, performance of some of the companies that we've seen recently. Let's start with FBN Holdings Q1 results uh, out, revenue up, PAT up. Now that share price has gone up today. Uh, um, as well. So it will be good to know your view on what you feel would differentiate uh, these banks going forward. Okay. Um, thank you, Didi, for having me on the show. Um, for First Bank, basically, we, we think that for all the banks, um, because of the CBN's drive to reduce the commission on, on turnover and also to increase the rates paid to deposit holders. We think that it will be a challenge for the banks, but um, for First Bank as a special case, we think that what would differentiate these banks would be their deposit base and um, the number of locations that you can find them. So First Bank basically has probably the widest uh, network coverage, and we think that they've also, according to the CFO this morning, he also mentioned that they are focused on increasing their location. So we think that that would be the main distinguishing factor for all these banks going forward. And this should be able to, uh, this should enable them to reduce their cost of funds and as well increase their earnings going forward. You know, as I said earlier, we had full year results out from chemical and allied products, revenue up, profit after tax up. Uh, we have a dividend of 70 copper per share, bonus of one for, one for four. Q1 results also good, revenue up, profit after tax up now. Uh, market reacted positively to the news. We saw that stock going up 10% on Tuesday uh, and also 10% today as well. Now let's talk on the prospects of that stock. That stock has gone up 52% this year. Is this sustainable? Um, basically, I don't, I don't think that the, the upward trend is sustainable. I think that there will be a slowdown sometime within the quarter. The stock has, right, as you rightly said, has um, rallied about 55% there about up to today. And I think that somewhere towards the end of the month, we will see a correction. But basically what, what I would like to say about the stock is for the paint sector, we think that there is a positive correlation with the infrastructure sector. So the fact that we see a positive outlook for the infrastructure sector, we also see a positive outlook for that company as well. And we think that um, earnings will continue to grow as, as um, we continue to see more infrastructure developments going forward. Now, that company has a, uh, also declared a dividend a yield there, 1.6%. Now, I want to talk a bit about that because I've had conversations with other analysts uh, and market watchers on the show that have stressed you know, the importance of rewarding investors with good dividend payments. Uh, now, however, we've seen, you know, the results, uh, uh, the market now reacts positively to um, what could be considered as not a fantastic uh, dividend yield there from the company. So, uh, I guess the question is, what is driving the reaction we are seeing in that stock? Okay. Um, as other analysts must have said, that the market rewards dividends highly and uh, punish companies that do not pay out dividends strongly. Um, for, for CAP, I think the, the, the case is kind of special because the dividend that we are looking at is not necessarily the cash dividend that has been declared, that is about 1.6%. Um, investors are also looking at the, the, the bonus that has been proposed and they factored it out to, to, to try to work out an anticipated dividend um, yield. So I'll give you a typical example. Investors basically 
as in local investors, what, what they will be looking at is how much can I get from this stock. As a starting point, we could say everything else being equal. Let's assume that the company is marked down for bonus today and it tends to trade because if you look at the trend, it might be hovering around the um, 48 Naira mark. So if it drops down after the markdown and rises back up to about 43 bucks, investors would have um, banked um, about 25% there about. So investors are looking at that. Also, for the company, the growth prospect is quite strong, like as I mentioned earlier. And investors would also factor that in the valuation. I think that basically is what is driving their interest. Let's talk a bit about the insurance sector. We saw Manset Insurance full year and Q1 result out. Uh, that stock has gone down uh, today. Uh, in initially went down. Uh, but uh, let us know your thoughts on that result. Okay. Um, I think the result from my own um, point is fantastic. Being that um, Mansard is one of the insurance companies that we hold highly in terms of um, their corporate governance in terms of their management structure, in terms of how the company is positioned, in terms of their drive in marketing and the way the company is operated generally. So we think that coming out as basically the first insurance company with its Q1 results attractive although I think that the gross end is dropped by about 10 percent but um, they were able to make that up by cutting costs and we saw the the net earnings going up by about 21 22 percent so that result is actually good and I expect that the market would um, favor the stock going forward we also have a result from UAC property development company uh, good results as well. We have full year and Q1 results. So, uh, give us your view on that company's performance and the market reaction. Okay, um, for UAC, UAC is a company that we call kind of a global company. It's almost in every sector of the market, and I think that the market generally has priced this advantage into the security. For a company such as that, that has good prospect to declare such fantastic bonus and dividend i think that um, we should see um, an upward movement in the in, in in the price and i also believe that because of the expansions that we've been seeing going around the company and the structure that the company has been adopting buying uh, moving into the paint space moving into um, um, partnering with with the likes of tiger brand and, and the rest we really expect the positive side of the company to show forward and I think that is a good buy for investors at this moment.